They say never take your work home. It's easier said than done. The Guaynabo training camp has been in session for eight weeks. The grind can be taxing on body and mind, but it's integral to the metamorphosis taking place of Oscar de la Hoya, from family man to fighter. I can see the transformation, uh, and it is a transformation. It's amazing. I mean, you, you can see in, see in, in, in his eyes, uh, you know, and, and the way of, uh, of speaking to people, or he gets more into himself. At the beginning, I didn't understand, and at first, um, I thought that he was mad or, or something, that we were fighting or something. I have learned, you know, to give him his space and, and uh, to know what's my role in all this, you know, because it's a very personal thing for him. This is serious business. If you're not ready, you're gonna get hurt seriously. It's gonna be that type of fight. I'm willing to punch as hard as I can, as fast as I can, until I can't lift my arms. I'm willing to do that. Is he? We know he quit and we know he gets tired. Those two things that we do know. I never quit and I never show fatigue. I'm always ready, physically and mentally. Mentally, he's, he's already beat. In May 5th, I'm gonna do the physical part, brutally. I think about Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s position, um, you know, what he's going through. I can face the best fighters in the world but when they face me, it's like they freeze. This event is so big. When you're used to fighting in front of two, 3,000 people uh, like Floyd Jr., it can add a lot of pressure on you. He's been doing all the talking, let him back it up. Let's get this right. I've been calling Oscar out for years. I say, I'll fight the motherfucker in Puerto Rico, I'll fight the motherfucker in Mexico. Let's just make the fight happen. Let him come to me. You're gonna see me fit what I'm gonna do though. Fucking massacre. 